okay, so we have problems. Society's divided politically, socially, people don't like each other. There's mistrust everywhere. What do we do about this? The big answer is a lot of things, and it really depends on what are the core drivers of the conflict. But for now, I want to focus on one technique in particular called the web approach. In the context of conflict transformation, Lederach encourages us to see society as a web of relationships. Everybody's connected somehow. Conflict has such a strong polarizing effect, breaking down trust, creating resentment, and ultimately violence. The goal of the web approach is to create a social fabric of linkages between specific people and organizations on either side or all sides that can withstand that pull, that can respond to conflict but not break into all-out violence. Lederach says that even more important than what we do to build that fabric is who we are connecting. These are people and organizations who, by the nature of their work or their identity, have some sort of linkage or potential for linkage across lines of division, but also across levels of society. Individuals could be an imam or a pastor of a congregation or a teacher at a school. It could also be groups, especially civil society organizations. Civil society means citizens who have organized themselves around a shared purpose. Maybe they work in education or health or community service. They're bringing people together who are different and otherwise opposed to each other in this conflicted situation. Buddhists and Muslims in Myanmar, Hutus and Tutsis in Rwanda, Democrats and Republicans in the United States. So what do you mean, build relationships? I don't get it. What I mean is, identify existing connections that are already working and try to strengthen them. Or find opportunities to make new connections where there would be good potential for them. You first try to understand who you are and how you're connected in this situation. And on that basis, you start to think, who else can I connect with? And, who could, and what connections can I make elsewhere that would be strategic between different key actors? And I have more good news. We have never had a more powerful tool for building relationships than the internet. I don't mean getting on Twitter and letting everybody know how you feel. I mean building real relationships with real humans in real life using the internet as a tool. It's not only trolls who rule the internet. We can too. That's why they called it the World Wide Web. Aww. Dad jokes are awesome, don't hate. I hope you'll think about your web. I hope you'll think about your unique value. I hope you'll think about the people you're connected with and who trust you and listen to you. And then I hope you'll think about how you can use those things to pursue the world that you'd like to see. Thanks for watching. Now we have a lot to do.